Time now for some money-saving tips you won't find in any how-to book. In the final part of our special series, The Buck Stops Here, our economic expert reveals her saving secrets. Sarah Mulvihill reports. You don't need coupons to save money on really big items. Economic expert Debbie Fry says there's never been a better time to buy big and save big. There are many stores that have electronics. Do some price comparisons, do some negotiations in the store, try to wheel and deal a little bit. There is some wiggle room at some of the stores. So don't be afraid to try to get a better deal. Look for add-ons or bonuses. You can always find a gift with purchase in cosmetics. So you spend $35 and you get $185 worth of products, everything in, in half the size of a regular product, so really good value. But time is money when you see a good deal. Act fast. For the flyers. The best day to go out and utilize the flyer is the first day it's live. If you're really excited about a few stores, you should know their, their cycle of their flyers. Many of them go live on um, Fridays or Saturdays. Some go live on Sundays. You don't even have to read an entire flyer to get the best deal. Take a look at that very first page. See what their hottest item is at their greatest savings. Seasonal shopping can also save you money. That used to mean being at the mercy of the retailer's cycle. In the past, we used to wait till January to buy linens. They're on sale a lot. You just have to look at the different stores and compare. But now it means buying during off-seasons. If you didn't shop for beautiful jackets last March, shame on you, because there were so many outrageous deals. Most retailers promise unbelievable deals after Christmas, but planning your Boxing Day shopping trip should be done while you're still digesting Christmas dinner. As soon as the Christmas Eve shopping ends, they go live with all the Boxing Week special. So you have all day Christmas day and the next morning to plan in advance those best offers. You're going to get paper offers in your paper also, fantastic, but do go online. Last year we did some promotions for Boxing Day and it was the biggest day of the year for our, for our site traffic. And don't just think of deals for yourself. Plan ahead and shop for others Boxing Week too. I have many friends who buy their gifts for their kids' friends for the parties next year all on Boxing Day. If you're not sure about a product, talk to a sales associate. They're your best resource. Ask for their expertise. We're a little bit, all of these new products are a bit new to us. Find out what you really need, but ask them what kind of leeway or what special offers they have right when you're in the store. And the best part about shopping in today's economy, you can just sit back and let the offers come to you. Get on their email list. You'll, they'll entice you. They want you to come back more often. Many retailers and service providers are using Facebook and Twitter to connect with more customers. So be sure to do a search next time you're on a social networking site. And a reminder, if you missed any of the Buck Stops Here series, you can watch them online by going to our website, globaltvedmonton.com. I highly recommend doing that. That's been a very good series. I've learned a lot. Yeah, I mean, and there's, uh, everybody can, you know, use the odd new lesson or two. Like, nobody's in a position right now where they're not keeping an eye on the bottom line. I think Sarah did a really great job doing I that. I think she did a fabulous she's job. Our, actually, she's our yeah. economic expert now. Yeah, she was a little nervous, but I think... Uh, no, I'm going to get her to what? buy me lots of stuff now, because obviously she knows how to save lots of money, which she means does. she probably has she's extra. She's pretty rich. Yeah, we should also uh, say uh, thanks to Footsie. Joe Footsie. Well, Footsie, she wrote it, so mm -hmm. good work, Alice. Good work, team. Mm-hmm, and as far here. as this weather goes for the weekend... Not bad, eh? I mean, it's going to be dry. We're not going to have...